You often hear them before you see them. The American pika is related to rabbits and hares, but they have round ears and no visible tail. Small enough to fit in your hand, they blend in with their rocky surroundings and might dart unnoticed except for their territorial high-pitched cries. A sound some say could fall increasingly silent as climate change makes it tougher for pikas to survive. Pikas are extremely sensitive to heat and cannot tolerate high body temperatures. They typically seek out cooler high elevation habitat, rarely living below 8,000 feet in the southwest. As temperatures warm, as projected by climate scientists, pikas could be pushed higher and higher until they can't go any higher to beat the heat. Already, they are disappearing from some slopes they once occupied. And there's another twist. The irony is that uh, pika are vulnerable to potentially freezing to death due to climate change. Other animals that have to deal with winter conditions, most will either hibernate, stay where they're at, but hibernate, or migrate. And pikas don't really do either. They will be active throughout the winter, but in order to do that, they have to use these subnivian tunnels, which are basically a series of tunnels that they create that are underneath the snow. Snowpack potentially protects pikas from sub-zero temperatures, and as they lose the snowpack, uh, pikas are potentially exposed to freezing over the winter. Eric Beaver studies pikas across the West, including in some surprising places like the lava beds of southern Idaho. They can give us a story that spans a tremendous geographic region. They have several provinces in Canada, um, states from New Mexico over to Montana and Wyoming to the West Coast. Their vast range allows scientists to see how climate affects this species in many different situations. Already, some models project pikas could disappear from about half the areas they now occupy. The landscape is changing, and as it case for climate change, there'll be some species that are winners and some species that are losers. The federal government says pikas are declining in some areas due to increasing temperatures. For now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has decided not to list the species as threatened, but continues to collect information. This widespread species is likely to continue thriving in many areas, but some slopes, once alive with their cries, are now silent. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.